Have you ever wanted to own a dragon egg? I'm Neliana and I'm gonna show you how to craft one from trash. For this dragon egg I used egg cartons, various cardboard, thick boxes and thin cardboard packaging, paper junk, newspapers and magazines. To give all this trash a shape I used hot glue, PVA, white glue, acrylic paint and wood varnish, which is optional. And surely scissors and exacto knife if you have one. Firstly, I created and printed out the template. You can download it from description below. Then I traced all the shapes on corresponding cardboard. Main egg shape was cut out from thick cardboard boxes. I suggest to trace the half egg shapes vertically along the lines, so the pieces will be steadier. I made a mistake and cut only 8 parts, so the egg turned out a little bit bumpy, so I suggest to cut 12 or even better, 16 pieces, for egg to have a nice smooth shape. Put some hot glue to stick the ends together for sturdiness. So now we have this skeleton which we need to cover somehow. I decided to cut out those leaf shape pieces from promotional magazine. You'll need the same number of those as the half egg shapes. Then I took various paper scraps and smushed them to fill the insides of the egg, then just glued the leaf shape pieces on top. For this filler you can just use about anything, it's both for the egg to be sturdier and a bit heavier, and it doesn't really matter what's inside. I suppose I could put even more filler so the egg shape would have turned out better. Well, this is one more lesson for the future. After realizing the egg is not that round, I decided to fix the mistake by cutting 5mm strips from thin cardboard box. Then I just glued them all around the egg and created a net which would give some curves between the bumps. For the scales I used egg cartons. For convenience I used only a flat top part and I used 5 cartons in total. If you have less, you can use the bottom part too, but the work will be more tedious. For the shape of the scales I made the stencil. I just traced them on cardboard and cut them out with X-Acto knife. This step is optional, but it really helps to save some time while tracing all those scales, and you will need quite a lot of them. I used around 250 biggest scales and around 50 smaller. The latter I used on the ends of the egg and in some odd spaces where large scales were too big. So starting with the narrower end, just glue those scales down. By the way, egg cartons have two different sides. One looks like with a grid or net and the one is with a more organic texture. So make sure you glue the net side down as organic looks more like a real shell, so it should be facing upwards. After the shape of the egg is done comes the most funny part, painting. But firstly I gave it a white glue layer. It filled small gaps between the scales and also reinforced the shell. Then I painted it with a black paint. If yours is thick, I suggest to water it down a bit as we don't want to lose that scale texture. Make sure to paint all the gaps and crevices. After it has dried, let's put some color. And here comes your imagination. I wanted my egg to be dark red, so I used burnt sienna and dry brushed it onto the egg. Use a dry brush to take a bit of paint and dab it on the paper towel. Make sure your brush is almost dry with just some tiny amount of paint and then softly brush it barely touching the surface. At first it can seem that there's no changes in color, but after a few such layers you will see the color coming out. To highlight the scales I used a drop of gold paint and also I highlighted the edges with a little bit of white. Dry brush the highlights against the scales so only their tips will get highlighted. Remember to keep your brush dry. 
This is one of my favorite painting techniques as it gives a lot of dimension and saves the paint. So now the paint job is done. And for the last step I used some wood varnish to make acrylic paint a bit more shiny. I slightly brushed the varnish along the scales for the gaps to stay opaque. If you don't have a varnish, just use watered down PVA white glue. As you can see, sadly my egg shape didn't turn out well, but that was my first try to make an egg entirely from trash. The next one will turn out better. Surely I could just make another egg and to discard this video, but well, I hope it still will be useful to you somehow. Happy crafting and thanks for watching!